Hi, Brad Bingham here with Bingham Built Bikes to show you another show bike from 2020. Some of the details on this frame are the wireless SRAM access one by Grupo, uh, what they call the mullet group. Uh, so it has a 40 tooth chain ring up front paired to a 1050 cassette in the back. The tires currently mounted on here are a 38 millimeter uh, Maxxis Rambler, but on the NV G23 rims, they measure about almost 40 millimeters, just shy. Uh, this frame is designed to accommodate easily a 42 millimeter tire. Uh, it can go even a little bit bigger, but you know, we like to see some mud clearance and room in the frame uh, beyond just tire clearance. Uh, it does have a fairly short chain stay at 43 centimeters so it's a you know still a sporty rear end and can handle that big tire and uh, you also see on the dropouts this bike is equipped with rack mounts for future use uh, no rack mounted from the get-go but perhaps in the future there's also the optional top two bento box mounts and those are placed in what's kind of become a standard location now for use with some of those bolt-on top two bags. And then also for some extended travel and touring, the bike has a third bottle mount under the down tube, which is actually a, a three mount style for use even with something like a salsa anything cage. The bike itself is fairly small. If I were to give it a size, it would probably be about a 47 millimeter, um, you know, based on the seat tube length and the top tube length. Uh, of course, top tube length kind of goes out the window a little bit on gravel bikes these days because we like to keep the front center, the distance from the crank center to the front axle center, a little bit longer than a traditional road bike. And when you start doing that, the top tube follows suit and becomes a little bit longer as well. And so this bike, to maintain some decent toe clearance with the front tire, uh, we've utilized the Seven Cycles Matador fork with a 55 millimeter offset, and that puts the you know the head tube kicked back in the 70.6 range, and really gives you that that front center distance that we're looking for. Um, also, gives a really nice ride quality with you know high speed stability, stability through rougher terrain, and so a great option. Uh, it is a tapered steerer fork, so it has a inch and a half to inch and eight tapered steer. We have that housed inside the 44 millimeter head tube of the frame using the Chris King inset seven headset. And you'll see on here is the Easton EC70, the AX flare handlebar. Um, really nice option, especially for somebody who is, you know, maybe going with the flare bar for the first time. It's not a real extreme flare. Um, I believe it's about 16 degrees and is really comfortable. And that bar is being held in place by our titanium stem we make here in house. And the bike is also complete with the Ericsson Cycles sweet post in titanium with a little bit of layback. Another frame detail is the bottom bracket is a T47. That's the 86 millimeter wide T47 has a Chris King bottom bracket in there with the dub conversion kit for use with the SRAM cranks. Um, and all of that working together allows us to run the full internal hydraulic brake line. So you get a really clean frame with you know, no wires, no cables. Brake line is almost completely hidden through the frame all the way through the bottom bracket shell and exiting the chain stay. And then back to the wheels for just a moment. Like I mentioned, these are the NV G23 rims paired with the Industry 9 Hydra hubs. Uh, great wheel set. And this is, a, this is a rim that was developed specifically for gravel riding. So it has a really nice ride quality and is a tubeless compatible, hookless bead style rim and just a great ride. Also keeps the bike very light. Super light, super capable, 
very simple, one by 12 gravel rig for the world. Thanks.